guys, I got mail. I got my passport. I'm not excited for her, but I'm excited too. Oh, and guess what, guess what, guess what? I got a scent off my videos. I'm so excited. <laughs> She better not sense, but she's nervous. Um, anyway, so we're gonna open the package. Here, Mom. Film me opening the package. Oh, because. But I might get the roof. Uh -huh. Well, there's a joke in that. She tried to film the hockey game. I ended up taking a bunch of pictures and filming the roof. Okay, she's excited. I'm excited! I booked a spa with my male lady. <laughs> we're trying to make this interesting story. <laughs> hey, that could be the scary moment. <laughs> CTFX C shirt. Yeek. What does that stand for? Charles, um, Charles tight fitting. No. Oops. We won't go it's, any further. Um, <laughs> Charles Trippy Friends X something. I used to know this. I haven't had to know it in a long time. But he was raising money for cancer because Charles has brain cancer. If you're not familiar oh. with Charles and Allie, um, go to their channel and it's CTFX C. That's nice. I get a CTFX t-shirt and it actually fits decently. That's awesome. Wait, it and it's not white. You can take Most YouTuber shirts are white. My mom doesn't like it white. I have to burp. Okay guys, I realize that a lot of you don't understand what making a scent from YouTube means to me. But um, if I haven't explained this already to some of you, I know I have in person. Um, YouTube, most of YouTube's revenue is um, accumulated I guess is a word through ads and so like I've monetized my videos so that some of you will see ads you know they're kind of random I don't know when they pop up but some of you will see ads before you view my videos and from what I understand now oh, I might be wrong on this but if you click the ad then the ad um Google gets paid for that click I think I'm not really sure but um Somehow, um, the advertisers pay Google depending on the amount of clicks and stuff and like views that they get on each ad. And then YouTube, which is a, a faction of Google, um, they pay the hoster of the video, which would be me and you know anybody else who hosts a video that's monetized, a uh, percentage of the amount that the advertiser pays YouTube. So, obviously the more clicks and the more views and stuff you get, the more money that Google gets from the advertiser and the more money that I get from Google. So a cent is definitely not very much, but you know, in YouTube, like I've lost one subscriber, but I've gained seven in two weeks. So I, I had eight, I lost one, now there's seven. Um, and you know what, that's gonna happen. I know what happens, that's okay. But in general, if somebody subscribes to you, like, you know, subscribers don't drop more dramatically than they usually go up. Like my number of views each month, because they do it a month at a time. Like I'm only gonna get more subscribers and more views as I get more popular. And I mean, hopefully I get more popular, but if it's going, if it continues at the rate that I'm going right now, where, you know, more of my friends are watching it and stuff and my views go up a little bit every, every couple of days, <coughs> you know, and I'm learning how to create more interesting content. And so any, by the way, any um, feedback you give me is really super appreciated. I'm taking it all in as much as I can. This is a big learning curve, but you know, so the views and stuff are gonna go up. And that means that, you know, one cent now, you know, if in the next two weeks in this month period, might go up to five cents. And then next month it might go up to $2. Like, the more views and the more subscribers and whatever, because it's not gonna go down, my my uh, ad revenue things are gonna go up. And so, this is how everybody started, right? Shade Tart, CTFXC, um, you know, the annoying orange, like they all started at, you know, one cent. Or maybe two cents or whatever, it depends on how many people you had when you started, but, you know, you gotta start from the ground up, and this one cent just symbolizes so much to me. And I'm so excited about it. Like, it's just, I just can totally see, you know, in five years. Well, like yesterday, the Shea Tards, Shea, Shea Carl, he has um, almost 2 million subscribers and he's been doing this for five years. He interviewed about Brad Pitt because he's he's famous on YouTube and he got inter um, asked to interview people on the red carpet at the PGAs, which is the production something awards or something. I don't know, I really know nothing about TV, but 
you know what? A lot can happen in five years. A lot can happen in 50, 50 more weeks, right? This is only the third week of January and I've already got 234 views or something. 780 minutes or 680 minutes watched, I think. And one cent, like what could happen? What could happen in this year or so? So maybe that explains it more, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. But I am so thrilled right now and I am so appreciative to anybody who watches these. And you know, even if I don't make a lot of money, I mean, that would be awesome. Don't get me wrong. But even if I don't make a lot of money, like, I'm really, really enjoying this and being able to stretch myself creatively and learn about editing and stuff. And it's just so much fun. So thank you so much. I'm so pumped. Also, I used a new editing program last night. We found, we were trying to fix the uh, film idiot issues that we were having. We found a new program on the GoPro website, so I'm trying it out. So let me know what you think. Um, it's much easier to splice things together and stuff. You can cut the video without having to like import a whole new clip of the same clip and stuff, which is a big problem I was having with the other one. And yes, I've been running and it's cold outside. That's okay. So, um, anyway. Uh, yeah, so if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. I'm just trying things out. If you have any suggestions, in the comments below. I am at Mark's exchanging some Christmas gifts because they're a little bit small. I don't know. They don't have any medium, so I'm trying out the large. And they're not too long. This is my long test. They, if I shake them out and they go over my toes, they're all right. And so now, like, I don't know. I think so. Do you want to be in my vlog or do you want me to not be in my vlog? because <laughs> I'm definitely vlogging right now so I'm definitely hanging out with Ange but she's not being on my vlog but that's okay some people aren't and so yeah but gotta have a dance test if you can dance with them they're good so if you watched our Walmart photo adventures vlog which I think was the second or third of January I will link to it in the description this is the photo we've got so it's outlined with the pink of her hoodie and yeah i think it turned out okay it's definitely not too bad for a free photo anyway and yeah i kind of like it so it's kind of cool not much else to say anyway time for me to edit and get some reading done for class so i hope you guys had a great day and thanks for watching subscribe so guys um these are books for, uh, what would you say that is self-help? I don't know, self-confidence? Knowing what to say. Let's, let's read the first page. Or maybe like the fifth page. Page 17. Do accept compliments with a sincere thank you. Compliment, your artwork is really cool. Instead of this, yeah, a lot of people give me compliments. Say, thank you, that means a lot to me. I think that's solid advice. What do you think? Do give credit to a partner or partners if you receive a compliment in a group project. I did the presentation, blah, blah, blah. Let's, let's flip to another page. Do, do, how's that floor? You want to watch a TV show that the whole school is talking about, but it's time, it's after your bedtime. Mom and Dad, what if I record the show or watch it online or stay up and watch it with you to see if you think it's okay? Why can't I watch a show? Blah, 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 the answer is B. No, just kidding, that's question five. The answer is A, every family has different rules. Making your case in a respectful way, you increase your chances and impress your parents along the way. On, uh, oh. How to apologize for almost anything. So if you let me, let me know if you find something you can't apologize with this method for. I don't, I can't think of a, yeah, but. Clearly admit what you did and apologize. Explain why it was wrong and that you get it was wrong. In other words, that you understand that you did something wrong. If possible, offer to take action to correct the mistake. I'm sorry I broke your CD. I shouldn't have put it in my backpack. I wish I would have packed it more carefully. I'll buy your replacement by Friday. Except I couldn't buy it by Friday because I don't get paid until next Friday. And even after that, I probably wouldn't be able to buy it till like the pre after Thursday because I'm a poor person. But I don't know. Is there anything you can apologize by that method that you can think of? Leave it below in the comments. So now we're in Michael's and I have a question. Do you think that is a real... I mean, look, this is the size of my hand, okay? I mean, my hands aren't terribly large, but... Little, little puzzle. Um, I'm kind of curious as what size it actually is. If that's the real piece size or what the deal is. Because there's no, I don't think there's any measurements on it. 11, it's 11.7 inches by 16.5 inches. 
So one, roughly one foot by a foot and a half. I don't know. I'm sorry to any Americans watching this. I can't convert very well. Um, I love puzzles. Ooh, a map puzzle. What's your favorite thing in Michaels? Do you have a Michaels where you live? It's a craft store if you don't. I'm sure there's craft stores everywhere, but we're just we're just hanging out in the craft store. It's fun times. I say that a lot. I'm sorry. It's always fun times, but you know what? My life is just fun times. What do you got? <laughs>